How's it going, everybody? Brian Elvers and Dave Meltzer here, Wrestling Observer Radio, July 20, 2021, figure four, online.com, slash wrestlingobserver.com. July 20. Okay, so that's, let me think about this. That was the date that Jack Briscoe beat Harley Race to win the world title in Houston, Texas. And we just watched wrestling from Houston, Texas the other night, but not from the same arena. Uh, Dude, this was nothing resembling what you just mentioned oh tonight can you imagine having a show that you know is going to do like the best raw number in forever and putting that show on the air it's kind of astounding well you know i mean the thing with the thing with the show is that like it wasn't like all terrible but the but there were like two or three things that are mind-boggling you know, like, um, you know, I mean, like the, the introduction of Keith Lee and obviously the, the introduction of Karen Cross. And it's not even just about losing. It's just it's just the whole nature of what they do. But, yeah, um, I mean, as far as I think the Nikki Cross thing was kind of cool. I mean, it's that was fine. Um, the the Cena thing, giving Matt Riddle the rub, that was fine. I mean, I didn't hate the whole show, but they're absolutely. I mean, it was like the the Karen Cross thing is. You know, there's there's so it's so bad on so many levels. Um, it's not, and it's not even the you know it is the way they introduced him, but just how they made NXT look. This guy, you know, you can give the speech. Everyone's got the same speech. Everyone knows. I'm not saying anything that's anything so greatly perceptive. This guy goes and kills everyone in NXT, and then he goes onto the main roster and he loses Jeff Hardy in like a this couple. This guy of minutes. was literally undefeated for a year and a half undefeated on NXT for a year and a half. He's the NXT champion. They bring him to Raw. He has a two-minute match. He loses to Jeff Hardy. No Scarlet. They've stripped everything away from him that made him carry him cross. I was, like, watching it just thinking, should we even be covering NXT at this point? Because, like, what's the point? Like, the, the champion's just a job guy on Raw. I mean, we've discussed a million times all these people that they call up and they do absolutely nothing with. Keith Lee finally makes his return after seven months in his hometown. They beat the guy. They're not his hometown, like, but, it, but, 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 but basically... They basically call him a hometown guy. Yeah, I mean, I mean they, they literally use the words hometown guy. Yeah, he's not from Dallas. He's from Wichita Falls. But Wichita Falls isn't... I mean, I lived in Wichita Falls. It's not that close to Dallas, but... They did call him a hometown guy, and and Dallas is close. Put it this way, it, they're, like they're, <laughs> I can't even believe that he didn't win. Um, in his, I mean, and he shouldn't. Have, you know, I'm not saying he should have beat Bobby Lashley. I'm just saying that, like, if he's going to debut after David, all that how time, how many people they have on the roster? He could have beaten anybody. He could have beaten. Could have beaten Jeff Hardy for crying out loud. Could have beaten anybody. And um, the thing is, is like with with Karrion Cross, I think that they beat him just to prove something i'm not exactly sure what but I'm th- i think they had like a, a meaning of it you know like to show that well, of we course can they had the g- some sort of stupid meaning it was like we yeah. gotta we gotta show this guy from day one that he's gonna do jobs or i i think it's not even that i think i think it's just to like um i think vince sometimes just gets gets this idea that he wants to rile up people i mean i think that the carrying cross thing was done completely on purpose um to you know well of course i don't know it if was it's done on purpose I mean, it wasn't I mean, an accidental <laughs> defeat in two minutes to Jeff Hardy. Well, I mean, I mean I think clearly that, it was done on purpose. Well, I mean, I, I think that watching it and the way it was portrayed and everything like that, in, in the sense that I think that he was trying to do this thing to show all oh, these people think I'm burying him and I'm really not burying him because he's going to get his promo time and we're going to do a feud with him and it's not that bad, but it is that bad because of the NXT Championship. But with Keith Lee, I think it was something completely different. With Keith Lee, it's just like okay. He's back. I mean, it's like, it's like, it wasn't, it was the nature of how he lost. Like, he, he could have lost a different way, like, more competitive and, like, shown some stuff. I mean, he shouldn't have been in the match in the first place. Don't get me wrong. And he shouldn't have lost. He shouldn't have lost. He shouldn't have uh, lost his debut or return or whatever it is. And certainly not in North Texas, which, of course, was the epitome of all of this is that you know yeah it's not his hometown but he is from north texas they should have announced him from wichita falls he would have gotten a big pop he should have gotten a win um there's no reason he should have lost no reason that match should have been made and all that but um but they did nothing for him like like 
to me, Keith Lee, you know, came across like just an absolute nobody. Whereas Karrion Cross came across as something that they really wanted to push, but they also had their some their reasons of whether it's you know, I I, I couldn't. It's like whatever it is, the the damage that they did to NXT um, from a perception standpoint um, with that loss um, completely is like far far more important than whatever little game that they wanted to play by showing that that they can beat him and get people mad, thinking that that's like money and people be talking about it and getting mad. So, but yeah, it was. I mean, you beat the the guy that you've had run over everybody. You beat him in two minutes. It's you know, and it's not even like Jeff Hardy. I mean, it's it could, I don't doesn't even matter who this it is. Mad thing. I'm not mad about it. I just think they're complete. I, I, I watch it and I think this company is incompetent. I'm not mad. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna. They're, oh they're, man, I'm I, I can't. They're they're they're, they're but wait, on the flip on the flip side with bringing in Bill Goldberg and everything like that, they're they're gonna get. Um, John Cena. I mean, their stuff, their business is going to be way up for the next couple of weeks. Summer yeah, they're going to have a short term business rise, but I mean, they're you, gonna have a, you they're destroyed gonna have a Kofi Kingston, you destroyed Keith Lee, you're bringing back Goldberg, who's got, God only knows how many matches left. You got John Cena's going to go right back to Hollywood. Literally, like the next day, he's going back to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, true. It's like, well, this no, is, he's going, this he's going, is he's everything going, that we actually saw. Going, actually going to Europe, but from but, yeah. WCW and everything else, we'll do short term gain. Long term loss. Let's uh, let's beat this guy, and then like, who's excited to watch NXT tomorrow? Wow, your champion lost to Jeff Hardy. You gonna tu- you gonna tune into the show thing, and the Jeff Hardy's gonna show up? You know, maybe he will. Who knows? Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.